I'm sorry, are we doing Bible studies in classrooms? No, we're not, right? So why is this a certain agenda being pushed into the classrooms? I'm here to bring awareness to the emails that had surfaced earlier this month. The one I find most disturbing of all is of a third grade teacher trying to talk about sex with eight-year-old students. These are eight-year-old children that she's trying to hold a sexual orientation class with. A parent shared their concern and their um, objection to it and pulled their kid out. And instead of this teacher being concerned of what she did wrong, she goes to a district employee and asks for ways of how she can continue to teach sexual orientation to her third grade class. You guys want us to believe that this isn't a propaganda? that no agenda is being held. This wasn't just any sexuality class. This was specifically designed three days a week. She taught LGBTQ curriculum in her class. It raises the question, how many of those students are excelling in that classroom? Is everybody in that class getting A's in math, English, grammar, social studies? That we can dedicate three days a week to teach eight-year-olds about sexual orientation? I don't care what kind of sex is being discussed. The word sexuality, nudity, does not belong in the ears in a classroom of uh, eight-year-old kids. And when a parent showed their concern, what does this teacher do? Completely disregards and goes behind the parent's back trying to find ways of how to continue these lesson plans? The level of disrespect that has been shown to Christian conservative parents is becoming very obvious. It's like all of a sudden, just because we don't fit the agenda, we don't fit in within the parameters of the agenda that's being pushed, we're being disregarded and pushed to the side. We're not talking about having people excluded. We're talking about the level of uncomfortability that some parents are experiencing, and that's important. Because if you guys want to talk about including all, listening to all, every student matters, our kids matter too. And we don't want those subjects being taught to children who are just eight years old. And the topics get worse and worse and the subjects get um, more detailed. And I'm sorry, are we doing Bible studies in classrooms? No, we're not, right? So why is this a certain agenda being pushed into the classrooms? But if we don't take a stand and we don't share our voice, they're just going to sweep this under the rug. Why should a parent overhear her eight-year-old kid being taught about sex? Mrs. Tiber says, good morning, Sally and Craig. As you know, I teach third grade. Today, I talked to my class about LGBTQ Pride Month and played two short videos from YouTube that were geared toward kids. A parent who heard the lesson and discussion made her daughter leave the Zoom and texted me asking when I was done discussing sexual orientation so that she can let her kids back onto Zoom. I was planning on doing more lessons tomorrow and Wednesday, but now I'm afraid to. After sending the email, Mrs. Tiber received a response from Mr. Craig Lewis, part of district staff, that said, do not be concerned or afraid. Your principal should support you, as I know that our district, include, including Vivian, does, end quote. This district staffer goes even further and gives more media recommendations to the teacher, but says to steer clear of content that says sexual or coming out, since it may raise red flags. In other words, coaching this teacher on proven methods to push her agenda, but to stay under the radar. Immediately after the release of this email chain, the parents at Jefferson Elementary who have, have or have had Ms. Tiber as their child's teacher reached out to the principal and demanded answers. Why is gender and sexuality issues being taught to eight-year-olds to begin with? With the tremendous loss of learning our children experienced the past two years, coupled with the already dismal reading and math performance scores of public schools, why are teachers taking away precious learning time to push their own political and social agendas? In what realm should eight-year-olds be discussing topics around transgenderism, lesbian, gay, queer, and coming out? All words which were repeated many times in these videos. As a parent, I demand an investigation into this matter, this teacher, and the district as a whole. The lid has been flipped, and the level of systemic indoctrination is abhorrent. Hey guys, if you like smart, nuanced, left-right conversations and interviews in a world where there are very few of those. Do you want to hear both sides of an issue? Do you want to hear people debate it out? Then you need to subscribe to our new YouTube channel by clicking the link in the description or the pop-up button that appears on your screen.